Hi, I'm Dr. George Cromack with RenewYourself.net and I'm here to show you a quick home workout um, that you can do that's going to get all the major body parts quickly and um, you need to do this maybe twice a week. Basically this workout is going to get your pecs from different angles, <coughs> your abs, your quads, um, your glutes, your calves, outside of your shoulders, front of your shoulders, shoulders overall, um, lats, and your back muscles. I have the power blocks here, powerblocks.com, that allows me to quickly switch from five to 50 pounds in five pound increment, increments. I'm gonna grab 40, and this is a biceps isolation curl. You put your um, hand under your elbow, you bend over, and you wanna come down about twice as slow as you're coming up. And you're going to do between 6 and 12 reps. And on that last one, you're going to hold it in an isometric contraction until you're fatigued. And you maybe want to just do that on one of the sets. And I would recommend two sets unless you're a <coughs> professional athlete or somebody that's seriously training. But two sets will be sufficient to probably get about 85% of the results. I like to use dips. And this is just a dip bar. Uh, it's going to get shoulders, triceps, and pecs. I kind of like to go back and forth alternating muscle groups. That way you can move pretty quickly without actually <coughs> having to rest. And then you can go back and do the second set and just kind of superset. So we went from curls, which are biceps, to the dips, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and now we're going to go over into chin-ups, and I like to use this little Y bar, the chin-up bar, and what that's gonna do is that's gonna get your lats and your biceps, so back and upper arms, then you can go back to uh, dips, and then you can go back to curls to see your alternating muscle groups. <clears throat> I like to do push-ups in uh, regular grip, wide grip, and incline. And I have those perfect push-ups that the Navy SEALs use. About three of these <clears throat> equals one normal push-up. So if you're a girl, you probably want to be doing just regular on your knees. If you're a guy, once you're getting somewhat conditioned, you can do these. And that's gonna do your <coughs> triceps, shoulders, and pecs again. I like, if your abs are somewhat conditioned, <coughs> what we call the torture wheel or the gut wheel. This really gets your upper and lower abdominals. And uh, if you haven't been doing these or you're not in great shape, <clears throat> I would recommend just starting with a couple. Um, first time, I think I did 10 of them and I was actually pretty sore for two or three days and I had actually been doing several hundred crunches a day before that. And I don't even go all the way out because it's, it's actually a little too hard. And you don't want to hyperextend your back when you're doing it because if you lose core strength and you hyperextend, you will hurt your low back. Crunches just for the rectus abdominis. From there, you can cross your leg, which is going to get your obliques, and you do that on both sides. I like to do about 30 on each side. Then twisting the legs, coming up, which is more obliques. Then leg lifts. At the end, you can kind of bring your back off the floor a little bit, which kind of gets those lower abs. And then coming into these V-up crunches. And if you do that twice a week, you'll have a great ab workout. I like doing wall squats. And um, this is a great isometric contraction. <clears throat> I time these. You're just going to come down 
And that's gonna get your glutes and your quads. And you start with a minute. I'm up to over six minutes, working towards seven now. And I do that once or twice a week. So that's a great workout for your legs. You can go into single leg lunges, which is glutes and quads. I try to do about 70 of those on each leg. So single leg calf raise, each leg 20, 30, 40 times. From there, we go into bent rowing, which is not your lats as much as your <coughs> uh, rhomboids and upper back. So you don't want to, you want to support <coughs> with one arm or you're going to actually hurt your back bending over. And then you're just going to pull that weight up. I'm doing incline, you want to do them incline and flat. I've got two 40s, pull those up. And that's incline dumbbell bench press. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. And then you can go into flies and you want to bend your elbows a little bit. You don't want to go too far down or you could tear the biceps tendon, hurt yourself. Lateral dumbbell raise gets your lateral deltoid and then you go into the anterior dumbbell raise which gets the anterior deltoid and you just keep alternating. And then from there, I like to finish up with, um, you know, I've been doing two things, uh, grip strength roller which gets your forearms and your grip strength. And I just do this in both directions. Um, about three reps, three times. And then go right into the uh, gripper. And then you just start doing as many as you can to fatigue. And then there's triceps extension, which is gonna get your triceps a little bit more. This is an easy curl bar, which you can use for curls. And you can also use it for triceps extension. So I don't have the wide plates, which my old roommate took and we're replacing on Tuesday, but you're gonna get that up over your head and then just twice as slow coming down as going up. And you can just see my triceps here. Get a really nice workout in that. And that's most of your body parts. And you can do that whole workout <clears throat> if you're alternating between different muscle groups and you just keep moving the whole time. You can finish that in 30 minutes. And that's basically a full body workout. <clears throat> if you do that twice a week, two sets, you're gonna get in great shape in 90 days. And uh, watch your diet. You wanna get some protein in after that. A little bit of glutamine, a little bit of creatine. Um, if you're not vegan, maybe a little bit of whey powder, bee pollen, E3 Live, the uh, super smoothie that I've shown in another video. You need to get that in within 45 minutes of training. There's a window. And that's Dr. George Cromack from RenewYourself.net. That's your health tip for today.